Um, well, so I am on my way into DC right now. Um, I had a little bit of a setback on my way here. Uh, the friend that I was supposed to be staying with, unfortunately, um, may or may not have picked up potentially bed bugs. It kind of throws a wrench into my plans for us planning to stay while I was in DC, but um, not the end of the world. Um, I'm looking up some options uh, right now. So, A few years back, I stayed in the hostel in DC and it appears that that one no longer is open, but I did find one with great ratings and very value forward. So the next morning I jumped on my bike and I went to tour the National Mall. So I'm standing here in front of Spent a few days here visiting uh, my buddy Kyle and uh, doing some touring around. Um, it's been a few years since I've been here to Washington, so it's really great to kind of get to see all the monuments again. Uh, while I'm here, um, I'm splitting my time between uh, staying in the hostel and staying with Kyle. Um, so it's been kind of cool. I already met a couple of cool people in the um, hostel. Very, very interesting people already. So kind of excited about that. My favorite destination while touring was the Congressional Library. Now, the books were great, but the artwork was phenomenal. I met this amazing tour guide, Chris, and she sat with me for nearly an hour, sharing the history of the artwork and the artists, and also shared with me the restoration work that's currently going on in the library. Later that night, Kyle and I headed off to grab some dinner. I was craving something a little different, and one of the great things about DC is their food scene is known for its quality and its diversity. We found this great Ethiopian restaurant called Shur Shur. Eating Ethiopian style means rethinking many assumptions you might have about dinner time. First off, set that silverware aside and be ready to get your fingers a little messy. That's because the foundation of the vast majority of Ethiopian meals is anira, a giant gray spongy pancake-like bread <laughs> whose strangely rubbery surface has served a vast array of foods. It was absolutely fantastic, 10 out of 10. The next day I explored the Smithsonian National Museum of Natural History. The museum combines research, education, and exhibits to bring where we came from to life. The museum has great exhibits on human evolution and disease, as well as where minerals and gemstones come from. But frankly, the child in me liked the dinosaurs best. Tonight, Kyle insisted on preparing a meal, and I couldn't have been more excited. I haven't had a home-cooked meal in over two and a half weeks. It was a great way to start off the evening before heading out, meeting up with some of Kyle's friends and checking out DC's nightlife. After the great night out, I strutted my happy self home and was a little confused when there was a lot of extra attention outside. Turns out one of the other guests was making a disturbance and major props to the hostel staff as well as the DC police for taking care of the issue quickly and responsibly. My last morning in DC, I strolled around town and grabbed a coffee from a cute little shop tucked away in an alley. Spending time in DC with Kyle has been absolutely wonderful, but it's time to hop back into the Camaro and head off to Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe and follow all the updates from the trip.